Hi, a big welcome to Steve's Kitchen. What makes the best French fries? Well, generally the answer to that should be somebody else. But if you've got to make them, uh, you've got to make sure you've got the right potato. Now, obviously the potato can make some difference. I know russets are very good for French fries, but really it's about moisture content. And so I'm gonna show you how you can get the best out of almost any potato at home. Now this is a, a good all-rounder potato and actually we're going to be using this for a delicious Canadian poutine recipe which has either just gone up or going up very shortly on the channel. We actually made some really fantastic cheese curds as well so I think you ought to check that out. Those cheese curds, they were squeaky. Now I'd appreciate if you let me know how you like your french fries. I'm going to do these in a fairly simple chip style, uh, french fry style. You could do string fellows very fine, you could do big wedges, it's really up to you. But one of the things we have to do to start with is get some of the moisture out of these potatoes. So I'm going to cut these up now. For the purpose of science and for this experiment I'm going to use about a couple of pounds or a kilo of potatoes and I'll explain to you why in a moment. So you may have seen when I was cutting those up there's a lot of moisture in the potatoes. How are we going to get moisture out of them. Well, actually we're going to boil them in water to draw some of the moisture out. We're going to put salt in there. So in a pot, I've got about two liters of water. That's about eight cups. And we can drop our French fries into the water. A little like a pasta water. I'm going to put a tablespoon of salt in with there and that's going to help season the potatoes, but it's also going to draw some of the moisture out. This is optional, but I'm also going to put a tablespoon of sugar. The sugar actually very microscopically coats the French fries, so you could leave this out. A little bit of honey would work as well. It just gives us some color when we come to actually fry our French fries. The last thing I'm going to put in there is a tablespoon of vinegar just to help break down the starches. Now take this over to the stove. Now we don't want to fully cook the potatoes and depending on the amount you do the time will vary but we bring that water up until it starts to boil and then we're just going to cook it for five minutes. No longer than that we don't want to end up with a sort of potato soup. They want to still be fairly strong in structure. Now set yourself an alarm, make sure you don't go over the five minutes. When it comes to that boil, we've had five minutes of cooking, we're gonna take it off of the stove and we're gonna pour it into a colander and drain off all the moisture. Now you can decide if you want to leave them in the colander to completely dry. I prefer just to spread them out on a countertop or onto a nice clean kitchen towel. And there we're going to leave the French fries until they've completely dried and cooled down. Now the potatoes have cooled down and I'm gonna hazard a guess we've actually, by boiling them in salt water, drawn out 10% of the moisture. What do you think? Well, I'm gonna weigh them with you now so we can see for sure. Now I hope you can see that there. There is a French fry that I've actually boiled in the salt water. There's one I've just cut straight from the potato. And by reducing that moisture content down so far, we're going to get a lovely crisp French fry rather than the limp French fry you normally get. Now I'm going to actually freeze up half of these. They freeze really well, by the way. You can just put them straight in the freezer, uh, keep the air out so they preserve for as long as possible. I'm going to freeze these because I'm going to use half of these for the poutine recipe that's coming up very shortly. And I'll fry some now just to show you how gorgeous they come out. Now the beauty of freezing these, by the way, and I did allude to this in an earlier video where I showed the perfect McDonald's style French fry is that by actually freezing them the ice crystals basically we need the little ice crystals to mash the inside of the potato otherwise we'll have a fudgy interior and they won't get that lovely light crispy McDonald's French fry giving you a sort of mashed potato inside which is really quite nice almost perfect and why so many of those commercial French fries feel like they've not been made with real potatoes. I'm gonna fry about a pound of 500 grams of these French fries, and it doesn't matter whether you went for a thin string fellow or something a bit chunkier, the cooking method remains the same. I've got some rice bran oil, any oil will do, but something with a high smoke point is ideal. I've preheated it to 150 degrees Celsius, that's about 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna cook these for about five minutes, and that'll get them lovely and golden brown on the outside. I'm then gonna lift them out of the oil, and I'm gonna let that oil come up to a higher temperature. We're going now for 190 degrees Celsius, about 375 Fahrenheit. When it comes up to temperature, I want to blanch the French fries into the oil for another two minutes to three minutes maximum. They're gonna go a gorgeous dark brown and they're gonna remain lovely and crispy when we take them out of the oil. 
It's at that point that you want to add the seasoning to your French fries. So we're gonna sprinkle them over with a little bit of salt, some pepper, maybe some Italian herbs. And there you have it, perfectly crispy French fries. Gorgeous looking, hot. I'm gonna give them a try while they're hot. Probably burn myself, but here goes. Oh, they are delicious. It's so hot. This is a great method for getting lovely crispy french fries. They taste good and you can do the boiling part in batches if you like. So you can make up groups of these and freeze them. As I said, they work out just good. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Share the love, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anybody out there, any friends or family. And I'll see you for poutine very shortly. And don't forget the squeaky curds. Take care. Mm -hmm.